I must say I'm pretty excited about the upcoming few weeks and I can't wait to tell you all about it. But first, I got a package to open. received this beautiful walnut wood ceiling fan and light from Von Loose. I'm excited to put it together for y'all and show you the results. As soon as Wilson gets home, he's gonna help me out because he is the handyman. We're gonna install this fan and show you how awesome it works. Oh, well, hello. Hi, Quincy. He knows how to do all this stuff way better than I do, and he politely agreed to help me out. <laughs> okay, now we had to see in the top. This wooden ceiling fan is made up of walnut wood. It's moisture resistant and it has a smooth polish. It also contains a patented safety cable so you don't have to worry about it falling off of your ceiling. It comes with all of the equipment, the down rods, the screws, everything you need so you can do it really fast in your own home. Okay, so the first thing that you have to do is find out which of those breakers has the light to turn it off the light of the circuit, not the whole house. This because if not, you're gonna feel a beautiful energy coming inside your brain. Both of Von Luce's ceiling fans include a light and a remote control. They're remote operated. These are extremely efficient and very quiet, so you don't have to worry about it bothering you while you sleep. Another really cool thing about these fans is that they have memory function. They remember the settings that you leave them on. So obviously, as y'all saw, it takes a little bit of time to put it all together. You might need to get someone to help you out if you don't know how to do any of that, just like I did with Wilson. But here on the remote, there's all these different things. You can turn the fan off. You can turn the light off, and then there's six fan settings. That's a different color. Turn it off, it is another different. Turn it off, it is white. If y'all want to copy your very own Von Luce fan in the wooden color or in the black, you can check the Amazon link in the description box down below. Highly recommend it, it looks great in here, and I can feel this breeze, so it's super nice and it works great. Don't be Dominican and Dominican, that's why I'm saying that. I'm allowed to say stuff like that. Don't be Dominican. I didn't read the manual in the beginning and I started to do the installation and no good. But be Dominican is the best. Ah. I barely did anything and I'm tired. All right, let me finally get into what this video is actually about. I am going back to Brazil for about two months maybe a little longer, maybe a little less. I'm gonna be heading back to Rio. I'm gonna hit Salvador de Bahia. I'm gonna hit Sao Paulo. I'm gonna try to go to Lima, maybe some other places as well. But yeah, I've been sitting on these plans for over a month now. I think um, in my second Rio video, you guys saw me have a lot of curiosity for getting back to Brazil, spending more time down there to get more drone content, create more content here for YouTube, all of that. And because y'all know that Wilson and I have broken up, I thought, it was the best time to kind of take a leap of faith and go travel and go do a lot of things that I've been wanting to do. So yeah, that's that's that. I'm really excited. I've had this lined up for a while now. I just had to wait for the right time to tell y'all. I think it's gonna be great for a lot of different reasons. Even before Wilson and I decided to break up, he was always pushing me like, yo, you can go travel. Because he was so supportive and still is so supportive as a friend, he was always like, yeah, just go travel for a month or two months, pay your Airbnb there or whatever, and you don't have to pay rent here. That helps me a lot because I don't have to be double paying rent. It makes travel a lot more doable. And now that we have broken up, it's gonna be a great time for us to have a little bit of time apart. While I'm traveling, I'm doing my thing, getting more drone footage and flying my drone and creating content in a new place. And just kind of like putting out travel content which I've been kind of trying to move towards so yeah I'm really excited I'm really thankful that Wilson is like supportive of this I think it's gonna be a great growing experience it's gonna be a great solo traveling experience which I haven't done for a while I'm not too worried about that because I was just in Brazil I feel a little bit more comfortable just going down there I'm gonna share as much as I can with you and try to get the vlogs pumped out while I'm down there I'll have a little downtime and I made sure the Airbnbs had internet access how good of internet they'll have I'm not really sure so that's gonna be something that we we have to wait and see for but um, I'm gonna do my best to get 
vlogs out while I'm down there. Everything that I was talking about in that second Rio video, I just, like, we're making it happen. I'm really happy with the way things are going right now, so yeah, this is gonna be something new. I don't really have much else to say about that. I do, however, have to go get ready because I'm gonna meet a friend for lunch in Manhattan. I haven't seen him for a long time. We're just gonna get lunch and catch up before I head out for a couple months. All right, let's go. Just got here. I am a little bit early because I wanted to walk around and enjoy this day here in Manhattan. I'm not often here during the day in the middle of the week, so it's a nice time to uh, see what's happening up here on the Upper West Side. Today is the three year anniversary of my YouTube channel and the two year anniversary of me moving back to New York City after COVID, after moving away. It's been a while. I'm happy that I moved back here to New York. I've had probably the best two years of my adult life since I moved back and I look forward to what is to come. I don't really know of other cities or other places that offer as much as New York City does. Unfortunately, the price of living here in New York City, housing, food, all of the above is just astronomical and it makes it difficult to stay here. It makes it hard to have a life here if you don't have that salary job lined up or if you're not working double jobs or doing stuff on the side or hustling really. <sighs> That was a lot. Let's walk around, see what's around before we meet up with my friend Jason for lunch. Even though it's not the nicest day to be outside in Manhattan, it's not the worst day either. It's nice to be here in Riverside Park. It reminds me of my Manhattan days. I must say I don't really miss living in Manhattan. Oh, here's a squirrel. videos are a little late, don't be surprised. I'm just gonna be kind of winging it with the internet connection. But um, yeah, other than that, everything is set. All right, y'all, that's about it for today's video. Thank y'all so much for watching. I will catch y'all next time, wherever, whenever that may be. I'll let y'all know. Peace.